That's nice though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I make collages which are collage paintings with oil and cutouts out of magazines. They're mainly about the environment, what we're doing to the planet. Um, I, I treat them like jigsaws, they're someone else's bits, but I put them together in my hole so that when I end up I've got a picture that resembles sort of like a Dali painting or something like that. That's a bit surreal, but it's got a lot of reality in it. And I like people to look at them, talk about them, find the the thousands of bits sometimes that are involved in making my collages. Yeah, should we start with this one here? Yeah, yeah this one's uh, a tribute to the American Indians, um, one of our most maligned native peoples. Um, I love their nobility, I love their beliefs, um, and I made this one out of bits I'd collected over about 25 years I suppose. There's uh, everything from Geronimo, Chief Crazy Horse, Sitting Bull. Um, a part of the history, really. That's cool. This one, the seed of an idea, um, was a way of trying to explain to people how we can use rainforests. There's enough in a rainforest to sustain and keep people going, the medicines, the food, um, stuff we haven't explored to any extent, really, yet. But we're destroying the rainforest at a very, very fast rate, so... That one's to try and get people to think about all levels of a rainforest, right from the canopy to the forest floor. Food for thought is uh, what it says. It's thinking about food and how it's distributed throughout the world, how some people have got more, much more than they need, and some people haven't got at all enough. Um, again, that one contains about 5,000 separate little bits of paper stuck in uh, to represent the food mountains that we have. And it started really with the guy in the middle here who uh, carried a gourd of water for miles and miles. And his final journey was looking at a tap that was pouring water while he still had a gourd with some of his life's water in it. And it's funny because I was told, I, you know, when you hang a toilet roll, it's going to be on the outside. Not you haven't seen anything yet. It's uh, part of a dream, a reoccurring dream I've had since I was about 12, uh, dealing with waters rising on the planet and how my local environment became flooded to the point where I'd wake up screaming in water. The dream as an adult progressed and some of these images are from parts of that dream, parts of that concern for our environment and the seas in general. The seventh wave uh, comes from a, the title comes from a song by Sting, uh, but it's dealing with the freedom movement, basically the environment movement, anyone who's fighting for the right things on the planet, not for the wholesale destruction uh, that we see going on around us out there in the main world. 
This one's got several meanings. Again, it's part of my water dream. It's, it's being on a beach um, after being landed by a boat that capsized. Uh, various peoples, various debris on the beach. It's got a double meaning because uh, I called it We Gotta Get Out of This Place, obviously, after the animal song. But uh, it's also got the postcard out of Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd in the middle. Uh, this is the postcard here by Hypnosis. Um, and that is the focal point and it's called Wish You Were Here but we've got to get out of this place. The Endless Scale is a, a collage about most of my musical heroes. I've included a lot, I won't say all because uh, they're far too diverse, but it's got a lot of people from Jimi Hendrix right through to Bo Diddley, all sorts of people. Um, but it deals with that magical element of music which goes on forever, it doesn't matter what sort of music it is, if it's in the mood and in the groove with what people are feeling, then that is the music of the time. And how was it constructed? It's constructed out of collage bits, bits out of newspapers, magazines, musical periodicals, stuff I've collected over years really. Um, and worked together with oils and other paints. Oh, cool. This one obviously deals with uh, dealing with war, but also the influence of children in war and the influence of war on children. A lot of kids today end up carrying guns for their country well before they've got out of childhood. Um, and in our Western society, kids play with guns. And one of the things I tried to instill in my kids was that playing with guns is a, a prelude to learning how to use them. Uh, I built the new Alchemists as a response to things that were happening in 1984. Um, not just the scientific developments, but uh, the way the money people were taking us far beyond uh, what science should be doing for us. Some of our saviours, like Einstein, were instead encouraged to build the atom bomb, of course. Um, and I've got a simulation of Newton here, uh, stirring the whirlpool of time, but we've also got the, the money lenders with their gold bars tempting the scientists to their side of the equation. Most of my collages deal with that concern for the environment and what we're doing to our planet. Mother of Labour of Love is dedicated to my mother, my grandmother, my ex-wife uh, who is in here with my two sons and mothers everywhere just for that gift they can give us of life. Men can't do it, we can't give life, we can only take it away. That's quite a <laughs> profound statement. Yeah, yeah. It's true though, isn't it? Well it is, yeah, I'm afraid so, yeah. 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 We think we have the power, but we don't. Really. No, no, no. The power is in the future, and the future is our kids. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, as well as the collages that I do, um, I do collage furniture or decoupage. I love collage in anything. Um, my caravan's the biggest collage, of course. But I do sell copies. I've got uh, lots of copies, all different sizes, some on paper, some on card. At festivals I sell these and also it will be available soon on uh, from the website via PayPal. And what's your website address? My website is www.shemanic.com And how much do these prints cost? Uh, in the region of a fiver usually. Uh, not sure on postage yet, we're working on that. At the moment I've got these on card, I've also got bigger A3 ones on paper. Um, Hopefully soon I'm going to be able to do life-size prints, but they will be in the region of 20 odd quid. I can't help that, that's the printer's prices.